Hello, my name is Mr. Fontenot. Welcome to my YouTube page, Mr. Fontenot 1111. Please like, share, and subscribe. In this video, I'll be calculating the AC values from the Chapter 15 Math Handout, Problem Number 14. I begin by filling in my known values. This is a basic combination circuit, so my first objective is to find RT. We see here that R2 and R3 are in parallel with one another. So I will take the 500 ohms and the 750 ohms and run them through the reciprocal formula. 1 over under 1 over under 500. Scroll over plus 1 over under 750. This gives me 300 ohms. So I bring the R1 value of 250, 250 ohms over. I have my R23 value of 300 ohms. That gives me two in series. I combine these two. Gives me a total resistance of 550 ohms. I have two out of three. So now I can find IT by dividing the 120 volts by 550 ohms, which gives me 218.18 milliamps. R1 is on the main branch, so I1 will also be the same as IT. Now I have 2 out of 3 for V1. V1 equals 54.55 volts. V2 and V3 will have the same value, but they cannot both have 120 volts because we've already dropped 54.55 volts at V1. So we subtract the 54.55 volts from the 120 and that gives us 65.45 volts for V2 and V3. Using this equation you see here. For I2, I take the V2 divided by the R2. That gives me my I2 value. I take my V3 divided by my R3. That gives me my I3 value. All right, first thing I'm asked for for my AC values here is RT. That's just 550 ohms. I need my IT peak. I have my IT RMS of 218.18 milliamps. So I take the 218.18 times 1.414. I know the answer is going to be in milliamps, so I didn't put milliamps. It was not necessary to put milliamps in the calculator. And this gives me an IT peak of 308.51 milliamps. Now I need the VT peak to peak. I have a VT RMS of 120 times 1.414. This will give me my VT peak of 169.68. I'm going to multiply that times 2 to get my peak-to-peak -peak voltage. Peak-to-peak -peak is equal to peak times 2, so I just take the answer, hit times 2 equals, and I see my VT peak-to-peak -peak value of 339.36 volts.